Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at the practical skill of measuring the energy released when burning fuels. This is used at both higher and national five. For this experiment, you will need the following equipment. A measuring cylinder, a metal beaker, a spirit burner of alcohol, a thermometer, a draft shield, and a balance. To calculate the energy released when burning fuels, you will be using the E equals negative CM delta T equation. If you're at higher, you will be using this per mole. The first measurement that you need to take is the mass of the spirit burner at the start of the experiment. You need to do this with the lid on so that you do not evaporate any of the alcohol. After you've done this, you then need to measure a known volume of water. Here we're going to use 100 millilitres of water. This will be the M in the E equals CM delta T equation. M is in kilograms. We will then pour the water into a metal beaker. It's important that you use a metal beaker and not a glass beaker as the metal will conduct heat better. You then need to take the temperature of the water at the start. This will allow you to calculate the difference in temperature, delta T. Place the beaker back into the draft shield. The draft shield has three sides. This is to prevent heat escaping. At this point, you are ready to light the spirit burner. Carefully remove the lid and light the spirit burner and quickly place it under the, be the metal beaker. You should then stir the water using the thermometer. Be careful that the thermometer does not sit on the bottom of the beaker as you will get an inaccurate temperature reading. For this experiment, you can either heat this up until there is a set temperature rise or heat for a certain amount of time and measure the temperature rise. At the end of your experiment, use the lid to put out the spirit burner and take the final temperature reading of the water. You should then re-weigh the spirit burner to find the mass of the alcohol which has been burned. This is only used at higher where you try to find the number of moles of alcohol which has been burned to heat the water. At this point you will now have all the information required to calculate the energy released when burning the alcohol. C is 4.18 as we are heating water. M will be the mass of the water in kilograms, in this case 0.1, and delta T will be the difference in temperature, the end temperature minus the start temperature of the water. At higher, you will need to do this in kilojoules per mole. Therefore, you would need to calculate the number of moles of ethanol burned by taking the mass of the ethanol which has been burned and dividing by the gram formula mass. You would then take the energy and divide by moles. The experimental value calculated using this experiment is rarely close to the actual value. There are a number of areas of errors that you can have in this experiment. One of these can be seen if we look at the metal can. This is covered in soot, which indicates that there has been incomplete combustion. Therefore, not all of the energy contained within the fuel is transferred into heat. We're also using a draft shield which only has three sides, so there will be some heat loss. Further errors can arise when weighing the spirit burner. If you do not put the lid on or do not put the lid on quick enough at the end, then some of the alcohol will evaporate and you'll have an inaccurate mass of alcohol which has been used. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on x at Miss Adams Chem, Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry and TikTok Miss Adams Chem for updates on new videos, flashcards and short videos throughout the year. Bye for now!